So it's time for us to go and take a look at some of the cool pixels to not buy in 2023. Now, I will definitely tell you there are still a lot of devices you should consider buying, and I think Google Pixels are some of the best and important phones that are out there in the market right now. However, with that being said, I still think there are tons and tons of devices out there from Google that you probably shouldn't be buying for the most part. Now, the first thing I want to state is that with the Google Pixel, you know, any Google Pixel that's technically unsupported, so the original Google Pixel, the Google Pixel 2, the Pixel 3, and even technically speaking, the Google Pixel 4, I probably would not recommend buying anymore. Now, the reason I say that for the most part is because the Google Pixel 4 and below are kind of unsupported with software. Now, they're not completely unsupported, so you can still go and basically buy those types of you know phones for the most part and be perfectly fine, but you do have to remember that they're not really going to be getting software support. They're going to be stuck in kind of like in an outdated spot, which is in and of itself very interesting, and they're just really not worth buying anymore. I think the Pixel 5 onwards make a lot more sense to buy. So those are the ones I would probably recommend. So just, you know, kind of make a long story short, the standard, you know, Pixel 1 to the Pixel 4 would not recommend buying, but it also counts for the XL models. If you're going to go and buy an XL model of them, they are probably faster in some cases, have bigger displays, bigger batteries, but they are not devices I would recommend buying anymore either. So both those standard base models and those XL models, those variants, make zero sense to buy at all. And I would recommend avoiding them at all costs. Now, another set of devices that I wouldn't recommend buying are the Pixel 3a and the Pixel 4a, the standard model. Now, there's the Pixel 4a 5G that is still supported with software that is getting Android 14, and that one like kind of makes sense to buy. But the Pixel 4a makes, or the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 3a doesn't really make too much sense to go and buy those devices. That's why I would kind of prefer and recommend you to buy something like the Google Pixel, you know, 5 and, you know, above. Those ones make a lot more sense in my opinion. Now, another thing I want to throw in here is if you are planning on buying, you know, a Pixel 5, keep in mind that this one is the next one on the chopping block. So next year, when I go around and make this video, I'm probably going to say don't buy the Google Pixel 5. And the reason I'm going to say that is because that device is probably going to be stuck on one of the last versions of Android 14. So it's not really going to make a lot of sense to continue to buy that phone for the most part, because that phone is also going to be in a very, very similar spot to a phone like the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 4a 5G are right now. So there's still a lot of Google Pixels to buy. Phones like the Pixel 6, Pixel 6a, Pixel 5 and 5a, like I mentioned earlier, but keep that in mind. You still have devices like the Google Pixel you know, 7, Google Pixel 7 Pro. Those are solid devices and the 7a and the 8 are coming out this year as well. So lots of good devices still, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.